Alright, so I removed the bottom, the base, and if you notice these little dots, they kind of have a pattern to them. They go down diagonally like this. Right. So what we're going to do is, we're going to cut these little dots out. Okay, so you're making like in a, a line. So like I'm a one eighth of an inch slice inside the pineapple. Basically kind of a triangle effect to get them out. Right. Oh, I see what you mean. Like a little wedge. Yeah. Just got about two lines left to finish it off. And I'm down to my last line. Now the excess in between, I'm just going to pass my fingers through it to kind of clean it out. And so you can see how like making all those series of, of V cuts gives you this spirally corkscrew look. It does. So this is our final product. We might have a little extra here to take off afterwards. But it's pretty much even. Do you find the best presentation side? Maybe here. Okay, looks pretty good. So this is our excess. You can see that it's not that much loss. And so what could you do with something like that? Uh, something like this. I mean, you could make a little pineapple syrup. You could add it to your meat in the oven to kind of give it like a nice taste. Maybe a ham, something like that. Uh, other than that, these aren't really, I mean, they're edible, but they're not really fun to get in your mouth. So it's more like a flavoring. Mm -hmm. Like you said, if you're going to be making uh, a ham or... Exactly. Exactly. Like um, so this is our final product. Uh, it's very beautiful. Um, well, like nutritionally, nutritionally, like why would somebody want to eat this before or after a meal? Um, it has great enzymes to basically uh, to finish or start a meal. Good di digestive enzymes, actually. Um, it cleanses your palate.